this video is all about basic shaker techniques. So let's get started with a simple wooden cylinder type shaker. And the, I, I call the various techniques for shakers either horizontal techniques or vertical techniques. We'll start with horizontal. This is a basic back and forth. So this looks very easy when you see people do it. And when you pick up the shaker yourself, you realize there's a bit more to it. I'm going to turn to the side. You can see this motion. The goal for me when I'm playing this type of back and forth is to keep the shaker as parallel to the ground as possible. It will be, you know, it will have a slight curve, but the idea is to keep the shaky material going back and forth and Shaker players need to learn to defy gravity just a little bit. Whatever's inside this, there are little metal beads in here, gravity wants to pull that down to the earth. So your job as a shaker player is to resist that and to defy gravity just a bit to keep the material going on a horizontal back and forth. Here's some what I would call slightly less successful variations on the back and forth technique. And these are things to, in my opinion, avoid. One is moving just from the wrist. If you bend back and forth just from the wrist, what happens is that most of the energy of the shaker is going down and gravity wins every time. And it takes a lot of momentum to pull the shaker back up. The same thing happens if you open up from the elbow. The energy goes down, the shaky material is resting on the bottom and it requires more energy also, the sound will be uneven. The down will be much stronger and louder sounding. So try and keep this in mind. This is a horizontal back and forth technique. Now let's try the back and forth on some different types of shakers. So you can see what it's like. We get the egg. Because it's so quiet, let's try two eggs. The same idea. So when you're playing the shaker, visualize that there's a horizontal line parallel to the, to the ground. And you're trying to keep the shaky stuff moving along that line rather than this. Okay. Let's try. The tube. Now, if you have a larger tube shaker, one of the first things you have to do is to balance the shaky stuff. If all the shaky stuff is in one end of the tube, it feels very strange and you don't get a, a good sound. So shake it back and forth until you balance that. And then you can get a nice clean back and forth. Now the tempo, the speed at which you play, makes it more challenging, especially as you get slower, it's much harder to control and defy gravity, and at some point gravity just wins. Gravity will always win, but if you, if you practice this, you can get a nice smooth timekeeping shaker pattern. Let's try it with the bean pod.